What is up, you guys? Wonderbro here, and today I want to ask you a simple question. Where is your focus? Where is your focus, right? And this is a question that I want you to get into the habit of asking yourself. So very quickly, a quick recap of my channel. For years, I've taught people, hey, when you're having intrusive thoughts or feelings, use your accepting inner voice, and that's nothing more than just a reminder to yourself that, you know, I can handle this. I'm not going to fight with that. It is what it is. Whatever you tell yourself, and then get right back into life. For years, I've told people that is the way to healing, and I still stand by that, right? Uh, anxiety is an attention disorder. If you give it attention, it grows. If you take attention away, it starts to fade off into the background. Uh, however, I am noticing that there is a bit of a trend. I say that often. There is a bit of a trend going on where there's a crucial step that people are sort of leaving out or not realizing, right? And that step is this. Once you tell yourself, hey, I'm having that thought, I acknowledge that thought, I acknowledge that feeling, I'm going to get right back into living, show my brain, you know, we call it positive behaviors, show my brain by living and engaging in normal things that I'm okay. The step that people aren't realizing is that that's supposed to be with your focus, right? That's supposed to be with your focus. You can technically go back to living, you know, positive behaviors, that is the language of the brain, but if you're up in your head still ruminating and not even realizing it, that can be a problem. So if you go back to living, that's great. Congrats. But if you go back to living and your focus is still on your thoughts, you're still thinking about your thoughts, you're still fighting with your feelings, and this is all happening mentally, then that could be the reason you're not making as much progress as you would like to make. So again, the question I have for you today is, where's your focus? And that is the question I want you to start asking yourself. And you can do this several times throughout your day. It's a good habit to get into. Ask yourself, okay, I am living. I'm doing what Wonder Bro says. I'm living. I'm engaging in life. But where's my focus? Am I, am I really engaging in life? Or am I just kind of slugging through the day, but still in my head, mentally thinking about my thoughts, thinking about my feelings? Uh, now, don't get me wrong. Those thoughts and feelings will still be there, but you don't have to focus on them. And that's the whole point of that question. Asking yourself, where is my focus? Yes, I'm doing a positive behavior right now. Um, let's say I, I decided to play this video game, even though I'm having these thoughts, but are you focused on the video game? Are you focused on the video game or are you focused on the thoughts in your head? See, these two things can happen at the same time. You can have a thought and still not be focused on it. You can have a feeling and still not be sitting there worrying about it, focused on it, right? So things, things can happen at the same time here. And I'm going to give you an example um, each and every one of us as human beings have about 10, 15 things. If that fly flies past the camera one more time, fuck off. Each and every one of us have about 10 or 15 things going on in our day-to-day -day life at any given time. Right now I'm making this video and I notice that the room is a little bit chilly. Right now I'm making this video. I'm aware that I can hear myself speaking. I'm aware of the sounds in the background, like my air conditioner. So there's a lot of things in my awareness, right? And I'm aware of that. But where's my focus? That's what's important. You can't control what's in your awareness, right? You can't really control what's in your awareness. Sure, I could give up, get up and leave the room, and that would change the temperature that I'm aware of if another room is a different temperature, but I'm still bringing my thoughts and my feelings, whatever they may be, I'm bringing them with me, right? So you can't really control all the time what is in your awareness. What you can control is what you're focused on. So as I'm making this video and there's all these things going on in my awareness, where am I focused? I'm focused on you guys. I'm focused on my message. I'm focused on what I have to say. I'm focused on what I'm doing right now. Okay. So it's the same thing with anxiety. When I ask you guys to use that accepting inner voice, when you're really bothered by certain thoughts and feelings and say, Hey, you know what? I can't handle it. Perfect opportunity to teach my brain. And then I ask you guys to go right back into normal, positive behaviors, engage in that. That is my two keys. Uh, when I ask you guys to do that, I want you to ask yourself, are you really doing that? Are you really engaging? Are you really focusing in that behavior? Are you really focusing in the moment? So good question to get into the habit of asking yourself, where's my focus, right? Where is my focus? At any given point in time, your focus has to be somewhere. If you're a human being who is conscious, your focus is on something. I promise there might be 20 things in your awareness, but your focus is on something. So my hope is that when you use that accepting inner voice and you go back into engaging in real life, you're doing that with your focus. And the reason I'm making this video now is because I'm realizing, you know, we all learn as we go here. 
I'm realizing after years of making videos that maybe people are missing the point that as you go back into positive behaviors, I want you to do it with your focus. Become more aware of what you're doing. If you're washing dishes, think about washing dishes. What's the soap smell like? What's it feel like in your hands as you wash those dishes? Focus there a little bit. And this is not, you know, you might find this difficult at first, but this is not like some crazy practice, right? This is just I'm gently reminding myself to focus a little bit harder on things that are important to me, things that I'm doing, instead of focusing on anxiety. Anubis says hello. So that, that is what we're doing here. We're training your focus. If you're going to use my two keys, I want you to do it with focus, right? Use your positive behaviors. When those thoughts come in, tell yourself, you know, I don't have to get involved with that. But then as you're living your life, actually focus there right? It's just a practice. It's just something, it's like a muscle, right? Your focus is like a muscle. So again, at any given point in time during your waking hours, if you are conscious, you are focusing on something. You're just not aware of it. You've focused on the wrong stuff for so long that that's natural to you. You're used to focusing on all your thoughts, focusing on all your feelings. It'll feel weird when you say, okay, there's that thought Wonder Bros said, just tell myself I don't need to get involved. Now go back to playing this video game or watching this movie. It'll be kind of strange when you on purpose focus a little bit harder on that movie or that video game, right? And again, I don't mean that this is an activity where you really got to strain yourself, right? Really got to focus really hard. I just mean try to focus a little bit more intently on what you're doing, right? And, there, and you'll notice there's some gaps that come from doing that. You don't feel so claustrophobic from your thoughts anymore when you're not so focused on them. So the brain works in this way, right? It doesn't say my person likes this, so I'm going to give them this thought more often because they like it. It doesn't say my person doesn't like this thought, so I'm going to give them that more uh, or I'm going to take that thought away because they don't like it. No, the brain only thinks in terms of attention, attention and behaviors. So if you're living life as if you're already healed and you're giving less focus and attention to those thoughts and feelings, right? You're making it a purpose to focus a bit more intently on other things. Now you're speaking the language of the brain. So I hope this video makes my two keys even more clear. Um, maybe if there was someone struggling out there that couldn't figure out where they might be going wrong with my advice, maybe that's it. Maybe you have been trying to use my advice, but your focus sucks, right? And we can train that focus, all right? How do you do that? Just ask yourself, where am I focused? Oh, man, I'm focused on my thoughts again. Let me focus for just 15 seconds on this sound or this movie I'm watching or on the words of this person, right? Train your focus muscle a little bit. Again, you don't have to be perfect at this. You don't have to be really tense about this. It's just a practice. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you made it this far and let me know what was your favorite part of this video? What really resonated with you? Was there anything in particular I said that made you go, ah, maybe that's where I'm lacking? All right. Comment down below. Let me know if you're interested in coaching sessions with me. Just hit me up on any of the Vacate Fear social media. I got Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Uh, just toss me a message. I offer calling, I offer messaging. Uh, yeah, just get up with me. I'll send you my pricing. I love you guys. Thank you so much again for watching. And until next time, as always, give you a snap. Stay awesome. I'm going to, this fly, man, as soon as I get up from here, this fly's got it coming. It's been stealing my focus.